Adam, high freaking five. So normally we would be doing this face-to-face because we would be a bit excited. Um, What a 24 hours it's been, mate. Absolutely, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, something a little bit different, but uh, why not? Look, 24 hours ago, I'm sure most people uh, had quite a few views on it, 24 hours ago, 26 hours ago, yeah. uh, we sent poor Stewie over the fence and mm. uh, did a little bit of a uh, commando-style access into one of our <laughs> listings at 47 Goodenia Loop in Cranbourne West. Well, today and- we were supposed to be taking people to look through it and uh, we found out we couldn't do that. So we had to find a way yesterday. Mm. Um but we yeah. did. And we did. And we, yeah. have, we have dutifully thanked the vendor for allowing us or giving us the permission to jump the fence, literally, literally. Mm. And uh, I will leave it up to you now. What has happened in the last 24, 26 hours? Yeah, so uh, I reckon it was about half past 11 a.m. Mm. yesterday. We scaled the fence <laughs> with the neighbour <laughs> thinking that Stewie and I were burglars. Um, but we got access to the house and we got uh, we got some in, an inspection through. Then we had the partner come back through at quarter to five last night. Yep. Um, and and, and I, I'm I'm assuming we didn't have to jump the fence that time though. We didn't have to jump the fence that time. No, no. Um, so the first time in the morning, the owners had gone out with no expectations of a lockdown. So when Stewie and I arrived, we did the making of the beds. We did the quick shuffle around of, uh, you know, the bits and pieces. Because people live in these homes um, mm. as a general rule and they only get them ready for somebody to look at them if we tell them in advance. Yeah, and these guys were supposed to come today, so Friday. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, when when the Daniel Andrews sidekick got on the uh, on the news and said that no, that's it for the for the week, mm. we went all right. Well, let's uh, <laughs> we better go and make it happen. So then, yeah, over uh, overnight we've gone conversations backwards and forwards and the likes. And then uh, this morning we have all well, about lunchtime. We've signed off and uh, we've now put the property under contract. So at this point. At this point, we would normally be putting to Facebook a photo of a signboard with an under contract sticker on it, but yep. uh, obviously we can't go to 47 Goodenia Loop and put a sticker on the sign, so mm. here we are to chat about it. Yeah, and I look, I think it's worth chatting about because of the extreme measures that we <laughs> took, took into play because I think you thought I was joking when I said to you, jump the fence, and yeah. you're like, really? And I'm like, yeah. why not? Why not? Why we've not? Got, uh, we've got such a short window of time to be able to see whether these guys were the right buyer for the property mm. and get things happening so that we at least knew. Otherwise, we were sitting there for another seven days minimum. Mm. And so was the vendor sitting mm. there in limbo completely and and really not knowing what's going on. And I'm like, I physically can't jump the fence. Plus <laughs> yesterday for the very rarity, I was actually wearing a skirt, so that wouldn't have gone well. No. Um, you've recently had knee surgery, so we couldn't send you over the fence, but mm. good old Stewie. Um, he, he was, he was a lot of the and right. fittest of us all. <laughs> he, he did all the hard part and, uh, yeah, and he's not here to share the glory. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's not. But he knows he knows how important a party plays in our team. So Absolutely. that's that's all that's all good. But you know, it's it was just one of those things like and I remember each time we've come into one of these lockdowns, we've had really clear focus about what we had to prioritise as in all the face-to-face things. So the very first one, do you remember, we were running around to every single house and doing virtual tours. So Absolutely, that we had yeah. To have those available. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ones, yeah. that, ones that were due to be settling, we were putting uh, key lock boxes safe. on there yeah. so, that, so that bank valuers and uh, building inspectors and things could still get access yeah. if we couldn't attend and these sorts yeah. of things. Um, yeah. But the great thing, the great thing now is from, I believe, is that, each time one each time one of these events has happened, we've been more prepared because we've brought so many more things into our standard operating procedure. Mm. So that it's and I was talking to um I was talking to David, our photographer before, 
And I said to him, I, I honestly see the virtual tours now as an insurance policy for our clients. Absolutely. So it's, it's something that is useful even when people have got free-ish access, non-lockdown times. Mm. But it means that no matter what, we can really offer virtual or any some sort of inspection of all the properties 24 hours a day. Yeah, yes, yeah, so 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's yeah, it's, it becomes unrestricted at that point. Yeah, um, even little things. You know, somebody could have a dog or a cat that they don't want us to attend the property while they're home. Mm. Um, we use a virtual inspection to narrow it down. So if, some, if somebody can discount the property from that, then we don't need to take them there and inconvenience the owner's day. No, and it, it's really a, a great way of qualifying a buyer as well in that. If, it's, if, if we're at all in doubt, I know there was um, an inquiry I had the other day and I'm like, in my heart of hearts, I'm like, this is not going to suit them. Mm. And I knew how hard it was going to be. We had three toddlers, a, an active household, all those sort of things. And I'm like, can you do the virtual tour for me? I'm mm. going to send it to you. Have a look through that first and tell me if, if this actually does suit you. And turned out that it was, they wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. So, you know, it's all about improving as well the the service and the experience for both the buyers and the sellers mm. to be able to transact real estate in the modern world. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because who, who knows? There, there's or how many times now has it been where we turn the news on mm-hmm. and it says you can't go to work tomorrow. Mm. Um, so right. yesterday we basically just, we had a plan in place already that mm. it could happen any day. So yesterday we just pulled the trigger on that. Mm. Um, you know, have a quick look through. All right, in the next 14 days, this has got to happen. Uh, mm. So we need to ensure that we've got everything in place for that to happen. And, um, you know, any, obviously, if we went and did a quick run around um, <laughs> of people yeah. who wanted to look at certain things, yeah. certain homes in the next day or two, we sort of said, well, if you can come today, let's do it today. We're on. Yeah. Um, this is it. So, yeah. And, and here we are now. Yeah. And that's got 47, 47 good in your loop under contract formally mm. so contracts are signed which is incredibly good news um and lock green had uh, just the one person go through it they were also were scheduled to go through today so friday mm. um they were also available yesterday afternoon and the vendors kindly went for a drive for me um and that's resulted in some negotiation starting as well. So I think I think really it's um it's just the way it is now. Mm. But yep. you've got to you've got to be you've got to be prepared as agents as as we've proven over this, we've got to be prepared to go that extra mile, mm. jump that extra fence. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Stewie, stand by. You you will be required again. Um, yeah. <laughs> But it, you know, it's all about getting doing everything that we can to get the result that the clients need. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely. Like this morning, I've been recording the virtual walkthroughs, so the narrated virtual tours, um, because that gives the buyers a couple of options where they can just watch a video with an explainer going through the going through the the virtual tour and then they can go back if the property gets their interest then they can go back and do the virtual tour themselves in their own time mm. yeah. and after that as soon as we're able to um get them through physically if that's what they want to do it's a great shortlisting tool for mm. people as well yeah absolutely um there's a, there's that other gentleman that I was telling you about as well who when I was talking to him yesterday and he wasn't he was working and when I spoke to him about the property that he was inquiring about, and I said to him, well, are you available now? Like, what's, what's your scenario? And he goes, I don't need to. I've done the virtual tour and I understand room sizes and I can read a floor plan. I'm like, fantastic. That is awesome. Yeah. So, you know, there's every possibility that he will proceed with an offer without I literally, literally right. without ever stepping foot inside that property. Mm. So, yeah. Well, he literally hasn't. St- he, ha- he literally hasn't stood foot inside the property, but he virtually has. Correct. He yeah. walked right through it, looked at every single wall. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the virtual tour doesn't hide anything either. So traditionally, no. people say real estate photography doesn't necessarily look like what you find when you arrive. Mm. That's not the case in a virtual tour. You can't. Yes. You can't hide a blemish in it. 
There's no, yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no, yeah, there's no editing. All they do is stitch the 360 photos together mm. to make it a seamless experience. But there's no fake skies. There's no lighting no. of shadows. There's no blurring, blending, or or stretching of anything. It is literally just a 360 photo mm. of that room put together in a sequence so that people can navigate their way through. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's warts and all. Yeah. As, yeah. as we know, so you know, there's which been is what I really like about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I really like that about it is that it, it, it what you see is what you'll feel when you walk through there. Yep. Um, yeah. you, you can't get the sense of smell and you can't get the sense of touch, but you can see all of what is there in mm. the virtual tour. Mm. Mm. And then with the floor plans, I've got the dimensions of the rooms on them. And we covered this off last time um, with, you know, how to buy in a virtual world where it, I said, okay, well, measure in the room you're in, in the home you're in, measure out those dimensions and compare it to your bedroom sizes and compare it to all of these things. Yeah. And you're going to get a really good picture of what that property offers. Yeah. Because if you want bigger bedrooms than what you've got now and that bedroom is exactly the same size, guess what? Probably not the house you're going to buy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Exactly right, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a you really good... can and you might, but it would be unlikely if your main reason for moving is to have bigger bedroom sizes. You're not generally going to buy a house that's got the same or smaller. Exactly right. Hmm. Exactly so, right. It's uh, it's fun, but I'll tell you what, mate, the last 24 hours have <laughs> <laughs> something different, definitely something different. Uh, I've, I've watched back our own video of mm. Stewie and I going over the fence. So have I. Just had so a few laughs at it my own self. <laughs> yeah, and then I, I, I sent the vendor a text message once the contracts had been signed by the buyer and I said, I am so glad that you gave us your permission to jump your fence. Yeah, like, yeah. I yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to going and letting the neighbour know, look, mate, we weren't, uh, we weren't, doing anything untoward and just so you know we and it's a it's, it's a pretty good result too it's a it's a yeah. really good result too um everybody's really pleased as well it's not as though it's just a result that's been uh that they've just stitched together because oh well we're going to lockdown we better do no. whatever we possibly can it's, it's actually no. still it's, um, act, it's actually goal achieved yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I'm pretty keen to go and let the neighbour know. Thanks for uh, not calling the police. Um, and it would have been funny. <laughs> it would have only because I, I wasn't there. It would have been yeah, funny. We, look, it would have added another aspect to that video as well. The police car turned up. But, uh, yeah. I might, go, I might go and buy some blue lights and just... <laughs> I think I'm sure he'd be interested to know that that was the inspection mm. that, uh, that sold his neighbour's house. Yeah. So he'll be, he'll be able to have a laugh with uh, with the new couple when they move in and sort of say, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was there the day that you guys inspected. Yeah, <laughs> and it was funny it's because the, the vendor said to me when, when, uh, when I spoke to her and she's like, well, this is one to tell the grandkids. Yeah, yeah. You know, we sold our house in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And we've absolutely. Got, and they've got video evidence of how how it all all oh, happened. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, really, yeah. it really did happen. Yeah, you, you actually see Stewie go over the fence <laughs> in cream pants in the in the pouring down rain. Um, <laughs> I so. actually thought I actually thought it, I was a little bit worried when I watched it because the when he stood on the gas meter, they're slippery. Yeah, yeah. And it was raining, and I was like. Yeah, oh, and he was just wearing he was just wearing leather boots. Like he wasn't wearing any yeah. like sort of he wasn't wearing climbing shoes. No, and I was like, oh god, this is a work cover claim coming <laughs> <laughs> onto the gas meter, onto the pin over the fence. Yeah, can you, you can imagine you can imagine the description of you know how did the incident occur? Well. Do you want to watch the video? Yeah, put it on video. Just do that. <laughs> just send the video to the insurance company. <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh, I don't God. know that too many will happen like that, but I'm, I'm glad it did. I'm glad one did. Oh, I'm absolutely thrilled with the outcome for for the vendors and you know the buyers. And, and the buyers are stoked. The buyers too. are stoked as well. Yeah. Um, every everybody everybody wins out. We get a great story. Yeah. The vendor gets to move on to their next step, and we've got. Great laugh. And, and, yeah, and they get a great laugh, and uh, and the buyer, first home buyers, young couple moving into their first home. Um, and, and this was this was the vendor's first home too. So they yeah. they had it built. This was their first first home, and they've absolutely loved it. So I think they're pretty stoked that it's gone to someone that's kind of in the same 
journey as them as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, we get a ripping story out of it too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all every bit of mileage out of it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wins there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, really good. Excellent work. Absolutely excellent. 